Hi, welcome everybody. Welcome to another session in our Women Lead Online Forums brought to you by Connected Women of Influence. I'm Patty Vargas. I'm your host today. And today we have another subject matter expert in the hot seat who was actually willing to say, yeah, go ahead, ask me anything. Now, our session today lasts for about an hour, and if you join us with video, you'll be able to see our guest and the other attendees alike. If you're listening um, on the recording afterwards, you are not going to miss a thing. You can always still reach out to Lizzie with questions and, and comments. So if you've got anything you want to share today, please feel free to just speak right up. And if you want to reach out to Lizzie after the sessions, you can do so as well. We'll share her contact info at the end. Now, our topic today is 52 tips on using CBD for your health and wellness, and I am so excited to introduce today's subject matter expert, Lizzie Carlin. So let me tell you a little bit about her. Lizzie works to improve her clients' lives with a focus on natural living and reducing exposure to toxins and chemicals found in our environment from processed food personal care products, and medicine. She is a CBD certified wellness educator. And among other clients, she coaches tired moms on using CBD to help them keep up with their kiddos. She even calls it Operation Keeping Up With The Kiddos. And we're really lucky to have her today because her brand new book, 52 Tips on Using CBD for Your Health and Wellness, was just released on Amazon. So she's got lots and lots to share with us about that. So without further ado, Lizzie, welcome. I'm so excited to have you here. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you having me. Yes. So tell me about the book, first of all. Like what's it says 52 tips, but like what kind of stuff is, is in the book? It's 52 tips. So it's broken up into um, different sections. The first section is kind of like a basic, what is, um, what is hemp and marijuana? And a little bit about our endocannabinoid system, which is our, we actually have a system like our respiratory system that handles um, chemicals like CBD. Our body makes a chemical similar, similar to CBD. Wow. And it talks about how supplementing with CBD from hemp or marijuana can improve our overall health and wellness. So there's a lot of just kind of the basics so that people understand there's a lot of confusion. People get nervous that it's technically a cannabis product and they get nervous because of maybe their experience with marijuana when they were in college or they just have never done it and are nervous. Yet mm -hmm. hemp is a very different plant, even though it's very similar. So the book covers some of that to help ease people's um, concerns around it. I, I kind of say my goal is to demystify the whole CBD you know, world. And that's yeah. part of Part, big big reason that I wrote the book and the number one thing that I get that people are asking is am I going to get high from it or am I going to be able to you know am I going to fail a drug test mm -hmm. so all those kinds of things are covered in the book there's also a chapter dedicated to all the different ways you can take CBD you can the most common is people put it underneath their tongue with the drops and it gets mm -hmm. absorbed through your um your mucous membranes in your mouth and the book talks about um, all the different ways so you can, you can eat it. It's in some products that mm -hmm. are edibles like chocolates or some companies are making water. Now it can also be taken with like a capsule. Like that's how my husband prefers to take it. So it's with the rest of his supplements. He just pops it in with everything else. Mm -hmm. And then there's creams and salves, which I put them in the topical category because they're not going to actually get into your bloodstream as much. And the book talks about, talks about all the different ways you take it which ones are the most effective and why. And there's a tip on every different of the most common ways of taking it. So that there's a series of, I want to say six or seven tips just on that. Mm -hmm. And then there's also tips on, um, on uh, how, how to shop for high quality products. So in this industry, there's a couple of areas of concern, we'll call it. And that's, it's, it's not regulated. So it's not, it's been uh, declassified as it's no longer a controlled substance as far as the, uh, USDA is concerned and the mm -hmm. DOT so can cross state lines and whatnot, the actual plants. The FDA has not done studies and has not yet um, really endorsed it as a supplement, but 
everybody's taking it. So yeah. if everybody's taking it, there's a lot of people making it and not everybody making it are reputable companies. Yeah. So there's tips on how to know that you're getting good product. There's tips on uh, that you'll hear the term full spectrum and people don't know what that means. And it just mm -hmm. basically means it includes the entire plant. There's over 100 different types of cannabinoids in the hemp plant and CBD cannabidiol is one of those 100. THC that gets you high from smoking marijuana or using marijuana, that is another cannabinoid. So it's actually a good cannabinoid that you want in your product. It helps, but there's different percentage amounts that are in the bottles. And these are all factors that people have to take into consideration when they're shopping because if you get poor quality product, you're not going to see the results. Mm -hmm. And if you don't understand how to figure out what that, that if you want to, I don't like to use the word dosage because it's not a medication. And when we hear dose, we think of medication, right. but how much you take every day is going to be different based on the person. And you have to really understand what's in the bottle when you're comparing brands. So mm -hmm. I, it's a, it's a, a pretty extensive, a lot of tips are dedicated to shopping for CBD also talks about the importance of looking at third-party lab results because that's going to help you ensure that you know that what they say is in the bottle on that label is actually in the bottle. So that's an important section. And then there's the safety concerns that people have. So there's five or six tips that are focused on the safety and traveling tips. So mm -hmm. the legal issues cover, you know, can I travel with it? Can I get on an airplane? That's covered in there. And then there's a section dedicated to client testimonials. And so I've helped um, quite a few people at this point to learn how to use the product, to learn how to get the results out of it and to really monitor their bodies to see how they're doing. Do they need more, take more? Do they need to take less mm -hmm. and figuring that out. And I've had such a phenomenal um, response from the people that I've helped. In fact, when I first decided I want to write a book, I was going to put 52 tips and have it all be client testimonial. Uh -huh. And I decided that there was more value in covering all of the bases for people to feel good getting started. Mm -hmm. And then also putting in like the best of the best testimonials from people. So I tried to cover all different types of situations and I tried to pull those that were, you know, some people, yeah, they, they sleep better. Mm -hmm. You'll find a lot of people that are in the book cover that they sleep better, but that's not why they took the product in initially. So if somebody was just taking it for sleep, their testimonial would have been left out for somebody who was doing something else because already sleep is kind of in the book because so many people get the benefits of, uh, I call them side benefits of CBD. Like for myself, I started taking CBD because like you said, I'm a, I'm a mom, I'm in my forties with young children. I have a four-year-old and a two-year-old and I have a hard time keeping up with the kiddos. So I started taking the CBD because I had really bad sciatica in my leg and my, my daughter at the time wasn't walking mm -hmm. and she was 20 pounds and I would go to lift her up and I would get that shooting pain going down my leg. And I was like, okay. Oh my gosh, I cannot function this way. I couldn't get up and down from the ground to play with them. And I thought, okay, I'm gonna have to fix this. So being holistic minded and trying to go to medication last I um, first uh, did physical therapy and that didn't work. And I worked with my chiropractor and that didn't work either. I'm a huge essential oils advocate and educator on that area too. And none of my essential oils were working. So I was like, okay, I'm making an appointment with the doctor. And that's when I was introduced to CBD because my problem wasn't life-threatening. So they weren't going to fit me in for the next six weeks. So I was coping and I guess complaining a little bit. <laughs> so my friend was like, have you considered CBD? And I had been looking into CBD for the past six or seven months before then, because my son has ADHD. And I had heard phenomenal stories about the kids who it's just changing their life. And so I really wanted to be able to give it to him. So I've been doing the research. And if I was like, if I'm considering giving it to him, I should be taking it for myself. Mm -hmm. So I took it and I couldn't believe it. Eight days later, I canceled my appointment with my doctor and I never wow. saw the doctor about it. It cleared it up. And I want to say eight weeks later, my husband is noticing, I don't know why I didn't notice, but he's noticing, wow, Liz, you're up until 10 o'clock at night. Now I used to go to bed when the kids went to bed around eight o'clock, they'd go to bed seven 30 and I would, you know, finish what I had to do before I went to bed. Mm -hmm. I would go to bed 
And at eight o'clock, I'd be like, I'm ready for bed. And my husband's like, you're awake. It's 10 o'clock. And we kind of asked ourselves, what am I doing differently? Yeah. And I had much better energy levels. So I actually, I kind of say that I wouldn't have been able to write my book on CBD if it wasn't for CBD, because I would have been sleeping for all the hours I ended up writing. <laughs> so it was kind of funny that that's how it ended up. But I, um, the side benefit for, for me is um, a ton of energy and I do sleep really well on it. And I, I feel great. And so my husband's like, give me some of that. And that's when he started taking it because he felt like at 2, 2 p.m. in the afternoon, every day he needed to go get a soda or something to give him a, a perk, a pick me up. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't do that anymore. Yeah. So I always say there's phenomenal yeah. side benefits to CBD that you don't know what is going to be there. And in the client testimonial section, you see that I took it for this and I got all of these great benefits too. Yeah. You know, that, that's interesting because I don't think that I've ever heard um, about the energy side of it, you know. So when, when I saw that you have this program for, you know, keeping up with the kiddos, I thought, well, that's going to be interesting because I've never heard about that. Do you think it's because um, the release from pain or the release from stress and tension that seems to make you feel like you have more energy or, or is there a a scientific reason behind that? I think it's our endocannabinoid system. So I, I kind of glossed over it a few minutes ago just mm -hmm. to dive a little bit into it. Um, just like you have a respiratory system that helps you breathe, you have an endocannabinoid system that helps to keep your body in balance. So it, it actually has a two-way communication system so that you are your body is communicating multiple directions. And most of the communication that happens within all of your different body systems are one way, not two way. So it's very unique. And what I think, the way I'd like to visualize it, because it's such a, a weird concept for people to grasp. It's, it's kind of, it's just kind of complicated. Not all of us are, I'm not a biologist myself. So mm -hmm. I feel like having easy ways to think of it is helpful. So the, in your body through all of your organs, your skin, all your major organs, your nervous system, you have the receptors, CB receptors. And these are like little places where your body's looking for signaling. And what happens is the, your cells are nice and balanced and they're getting the chemicals they need. They feel good and they're happy. Mm -hmm. So their body does have a negative response. If it doesn't get what it needs. I think of his little Pac-Man, so our little round Pac-Man, he's, he's trying to bite on the CBD. He's going to go grab what he needs. If it's full spectrum product, there's over a hundred different choices and Pac-Man's going to chomp on the piece that he needs so that he can stay in balance. That receptor is Pac-Man and he wants to be in balance. And if he's in balance, you're happy. And if he's not in balance, he's going to fall off that tightrope. And when he falls off the tightrope, and it might be in, let's say, some people who deal with depression related to CBD or just depression issues and CBD mm -hmm. helps, it's the receptor in the brain that's like, hmm, this little Pac-Man doesn't have what he needs, so he falls over and you feel depressed or you feel anxious. Or for me, I was, I think it's where the sciatica and the inflammation came from. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, like, we'll just talk about myself, my Pac-Man down in my, the area that I was experiencing pain and inflammation the, 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 the receptors wasn't getting what it needed to be in balance. And when I started giving it the CBD, it would, it got back into balance and the pain just went away. So I'm assuming that I had a tired receptor somewhere that also wasn't getting what it needed. And when I made the CBD available to my entire body by taking it internally, it helped to balance out more than one Pac-Man that was um, it not in balance and he was about to fall over, but it wasn't, so I figured it was just cause I had kids. Mm -hmm. I probably cause I wasn't also getting enough sleep either. Right. So you kind of put all of these things together. It could be also that it improved my sleep quality, that it could have helped to improve your energy. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm not hundred percent sure all the reasons that, that it, it provides these side benefits, but I think when things function better, your whole body is going to function better. And when we get better sleep, our body is going to function better for us. Mm -hmm. I can't, I can't say my extra energies from exercise because I have not been exercising and I know that usually gives me energy yes. and it was probably the thing I attributed to, oh, I'm not getting enough exercise. So I'm not getting enough energy. Well, okay. I only have so much time in the day and I'm not going to spend on exercising when I've got a job and my kids. Mm -hmm. So I, this was a really nice little side, side benefit that I was not expecting. And I, I can't go a day without it at this point. I noticed such a difference if I miss it, missed my dose. Yeah. That's great. That, and that's a really good way of um, 
of describing it. I mean, I had the visual, you know, of, of an imbalance and walking that tight wire and so forth. And, um, you know, I, I'd like to ask you about um, the consistency of taking it, I guess. Is it something that you can take once in a while, sort of like I have a headache, so I take it, or, uh, and will you see results? Or is it more like you should build a regimen around it? I think that I think it sort of depends. Um, the product I use is a so concerned. I think a lot of people are, from what I'm hearing, they're concerned about THC. It builds up in your system. So let me, let me track for one second. CBD is in and out of your system in a 24-hour period. Okay. So um, it's pretty much gone. The THC, however, is the one thing that will build up in your system. I want to say it's a 30-day cycle that it can build up and th there's people who are definitely that get drug tested for work they don't want anything in their system and by taking a 0.00 percent product they feel more comfortable doing it mm -hmm. but a product like that your body has to it takes a little bit to acclimate because the thc actually is like that primer so that pac-man knows what he's looking for if pac-man mm -hmm. doesn't have any thc it sees it kind of coming by but it doesn't know what it's supposed to do with it. And it seems that about three to four days later, after you start taking it, you'll notice the difference that Pac-Man figured it out and boom, he's Got doing it. better. Now, if after three or four days on a, on a very low, um, almost very, like if you want to call it trace amounts of THC in your product, if you don't feel enough benefit, you take, a, you increase your dose a few days later and then you'll be able to see eventually if it, for me, it was only two doses. Some people need three or four where mm -hmm. they've increased that amount, that daily amount. And then they'll notice, oh, okay, great. I am starting to feel better. Mm -hmm. um, and that's where Pac-Man got enough to make a difference. So on the product that I use, I feel like a daily regimen is better because I don't know if, I don't personally I actually don't even know what happens if I stop taking it for two or three months and then I take it just for a headache. If my body, maybe my body knows what to do better now because I've had it recently versus I had never had it my entire life. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's, it's a little bit, more primed and ready. Um, thing, what I, my personal regimen is I take mine every morning. Um, and that, that's my, my preference. I've tried it morning and night and I like to take mine in the morning because it helps me with my afternoon slump. I don't, I don't get tired. My mm -hmm. energies are, energy levels are really high and I, it doesn't disrupt going to sleep at night. As mm -hmm. I take it later in the day, I find I have a harder time falling asleep, oh, okay. but once I'm asleep, I'm good. So I tell people to definitely play with when you take it, what time of day, make sure you're getting, um, you know, that you're, cause everyone's different. So some people take it right before they go to bed because it helps them just help, really helps them to fall asleep. Mm -hmm. But if I stopped taking it, I don't know if I just tried to take it when I had a headache, if it would work or not, I would tell people to try it out and see, mm -hmm. um, because it's such a safe product to take. There's really the risks are very low that you can, you can play with it a little bit and really figure it out. Um, I had one more thought for you on the, the other thing too, like I have my topicals that I use. If I sleep on my, on my neck kind of funny, I'll wake up and I'll apply the topical. If I feel like I pulled something or I actually did just start to, this weekend, I took an hour and a half long walk. Oh my gosh. That was, um, uh, my body was a little overwhelmed because it was my first long walk in a really long time. So almost embarrassing to admit, but like my calves and my shins and the top of my feet actually hurt. Yeah. So I, instead of taking extra internal CBD, I used my creams and my topicals and I applied it and felt better, you know, mm -hmm. relatively, I want to say within an hour, I noticed a huge difference that I felt like it was a feel that it was overworked and underpaid. <laughs> it was, I was not, um, I was not feeling that, 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 that really strong ache. Yeah. So that, that was good. So I, I think some people, if you're taking a product, um, like if you had a head, if, if you don't care about the, the effects of the THC, which some people don't mind and they're happy with their THC product, you can take that like a, for a headache type mm -hmm. of thing. And if you were having a problem, because there's a lot more THC in the product and you're going to, you're going to notice a difference faster. And then I also have spoken to a few of my clients that use THC products regularly, but they wanted to add the CBD because in marijuana, you actually have a much, you have a higher percent of THC and a lower percent of T of CBD, 
where in hemp products, you have a higher, um, higher amount of CBD and much less THC. So mm -hmm. people who are using marijuana products or THC based products, they're not getting as much benefit out of the CBD. So sometimes they're supplementing with CBD in the morning because they got up for their day and they don't necessarily need to be smoking or eating their edibles to, for their, their recreational purposes, but they want to still feel good during the day. And they find that if they start with my product, their body's already primed with the THC yeah. and they're able to notice the effects much faster. So if you're, if, if you're using the THC side, I think you can get much faster immediate benefits. But if people have like, you know, I know that when I'm sick, I'll take extra, I'll up my dose because it has anti-immunity properties, you know, immunity boosting uh, properties. Mm -hmm. And so I will, um, we'll, we'll take a little extra during that time. So again, it's something to play with. You might, you might be able to put topicals on your temples. If you don't know where your headache is, if you have a tension headache from your neck, you mm -hmm. might see some relief, but I, most of my clients are, are taking the product daily. Okay. Well, and how, it, there is uh, so much out there. I mean, I see ads for it everywhere. And you mentioned that because it's not regulated, you know, there's probably some less than reputable folks that are, you know, that are out there marketing it. How do you know? How, first of all, how do you find a reputable person or a reputable source? And then we'll talk about like, how do you know what, what to take? So first, how do you know who to go to? That's a, that's a hard question. Like, how do you know? I mean, you, you trust the people that you know in your life mm -hmm. and um, you can definitely become more informed. So I guess before I would suggest finding the right person, I would, I would arm yourself with some knowledge that you can get from my book so that you can ask good questions and really understand the, the answers. Mm -hmm. So even if you go to a dispensary that might have a whole bunch of good products, how do you know which product is better or right for you? Bingo. The person that's helping you might not know, might not be asking you the right questions to know what's right for you. So that's a big reason that I wrote the book is I want to arm people up with the knowledge that they can go in and ask the right questions. Cause I actually had a client who left town without her CBD. Mm -hmm. She went up, she was in Seattle. She, she was, you know, like, Oh my gosh, I need my CBD. And she went in and they didn't have quite, what seemed like the equivalent product. And she didn't really know all the questions to ask. And she sure didn't have her bottle with her to do any kind of comparison. So mm -hmm. um, she just kind of said, you know, this is what I'm looking for. Um, I don't want to get high from it. And they sold her a bottle. It was like a $60 bottle and $67 bottle. And she got completely high from it and threw the bottle away. She's like, that is not what I wanted. Wow. So she had been a little bit better versed in understanding how to read the label herself. Um, or ask where the information is on the bottle, then that's, that's where it's a good thing. So mm -hmm. the first thing that I like in CBD is a full spectrum product. And that just means they've used the entire plant. So the buds and the flowers are the part of the plant that have a lot of the best, um, the best properties for um, the terpenes and the uh, flavonoids and the other parts of the plant, similar to essential oils. It's very high concentration of the essential oil of, of hemp is found in the buds and the flowers. Mm -hmm. Not all products include those. So you're missing, if it's not a full spectrum product, you can be missing all of the benefits of the flower and the bud because it just wasn't included in the product. Mm -hmm. If it says full spectrum on it, it, you would hope that their companies are reputable enough for it to have, to be a full spectrum product. But really the only way you can verify is to see the, um, the lab results. Yeah. So when you look at the lab results, uh, some companies, another company I represent, they are now going to be putting a QR code on our labels. So you can go straight to the lab results that are associated with your bottle. Um, not all companies are offering that kind of transparency. So I always ask, you know, Hey, can I see the lab results, whether or not they're posted on the website is a place where when you're shopping and you're at a dispensary, Mm -hmm. You can, you know, ask to, you know, go to the website and get that information. Mm -hmm. If you can't get that information, I would be concerned if you can't get it. The other thing too, when it comes to the lab results is that, um, hemp plants are very, they're very, um, they're what's called bioaccumulators, which means they're really grabbing everything from, uh, 
you know, the air, the soil, the water, and it's accumulating in the plant. Mm -hmm. So if it's not a, um, an organic farm and there's toxins around it, it's going to end up in that plant. And if it's in the plant, it's by sure it's going to be in your bottle. Wow. So the uh, lab results are really helpful to be able to know that, yeah, I have an organic product that doesn't have a bunch of heavy metals or pesticides or other stuff that's in it. Yeah. So that's a really good thing to check too. Mm -hmm. um, another really key indicator that is not always available to, um, you know, just on the, on the bottle is how it's processed. There's two main ways that they process CBD and even the, the both hemp and, um, and marijuana based products. And that's the butane process, which is not the preferred one. The word butane should put red flags right up in your mind. I don't want anything in my product that I would use to heat my house with. That's a, right. uh, you know, hydrocarbon. I don't want to pr put that in my body. Mm -hmm. And what happened is apparently the butane approach, not only is it a lot less expensive to, to make um, the product, um, it also is, um, it's, it's introducing hydrocarbons into the product that they have to pull out later. And then if they pull it out, they get most of it, but they're not going to get all of it. And what, if you have a product that was not produced through the preferred CO2 method, it can leave a, 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 a waxy texture behind. And it also can leave behind kind of like a, 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 a unfavorable, a, an icky tasting, for lack of better words, flavor to it. And a lot of those companies are adding um, flavorings to the product. So I say that there are good quality products that have flavoring, but you might not always be able to tell if you don't know the people that you're buying from personally, or you haven't done all the research. Right. If you walked in somewhere and wanted to buy something right off the shelf, I would avoid a product that's flavored because they're usually trying to mask that not so good flavor of the product. Mm. Um, so let's talk about the other way of uh, producing uh, CBD and extracting it. It's the CO2 process where they're using CO2. We exhale CO2. So our bodies are okay with CO2. It's a gas that's just going to escape from the product basically as it goes through the process. And they're going to use temperature and CO2 to get, to get the CBD out. Mm -hmm. And then you're getting a very pure form. There's nothing added to it. That's going to leave anything behind that you're worried about putting in your body. It's mm -hmm. an, just an all natural process. So mm -hmm. I, I prefer un, unflavored so that I know what, I know what it's supposed to taste like. And I, and I don't want it to be covered up. So yeah. I tell people, if you don't love the flavor of your unflavored stuff, because hemp, it's not candy, it's not going to taste like yummy candy. It doesn't taste bad, but it doesn't taste yummy. So some people will add their own essential oils that are food grade and they can add their own flavoring to it. So that's usually mm -hmm. what I recommend people do so that you're adding your own, you know, exactly what's going in the product. Right, right. That's if interesting. You want to it, it, um, go ahead. It makes me think of, um, you know, often you hear somebody will say, oh, I tried it, uh, but it didn't work for me. Or, you know, and it's like, I tried it, but what it? And, you know, what, what was the medium exactly. that you were using, where did you get it from? You know, there's a whole lot of variables that if you don't, you know, if, if you're not dotting all those I's and crossing all those T's, how do you really know what it is that you're getting? Exactly. You, <laughs> I mean, you nailed it right there. So I always tell people, and I feel like it's what I say the most often is quality product and amount that you're taking daily are the two biggest factors into your success. And there's a tip on it. I don't know what, I should probably know the tip number off the top of my head. So I can say read tip X, Y, Z, tip number blah, because that's exactly what I've been saying. Yeah. Um, but yes, if you have a, a product that isn't, isn't high quality and it may be, so an, a, another, a really common, and it's very confusing. So like I said, there's over a hundred different cannabinoids in hemp and, and marijuana. And the one that is also nicknamed CBD is cannabidiol. That's one. It happens to be the most, um, the most rich. It's got the, 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 the most of the CBD that's in the plant it happens to be cannabidiol. It's the, it's the highest concentration, I guess, in the plant. Mm -hmm. And so that um, is very confusing to people because if you were to purchase what's called an isolate product, which means it has one single cannabinoid, it's just one. It usually is cannabidiol CBD, but that's really confusing to people because they could have tried 
CBD. Oh, I've tried CBD, but it's just one of the 100 that are in the bottle. Right. And that's the, their product only had one. So if it doesn't say full spectrum, or if it happens to say isolate, that's what the word isolate means. Um, it will help people to make sure that they're buying good quality product. Mm -hmm. um, so again, the book has a whole chapter dedicated to it. And if you read that, now I've gotten some great feedback that my book only takes an hour or so to get through. So you can be armed really fast yeah. with information. So mm -hmm. it, should, it shouldn't take long. And you have your little checklist of things that you'll want to, um, that's what I should have put a, in a, a like a, a reference at the back of a checklist, your shopping checklist, what I should have put at the back of the book. Revision two will have that. Yeah. <laughs> um, so the, um, uh, then it comes down to the amount. And then there's a lot of confusion around, well, I'm taking, you'll, you'll hear people say, I'm taking a thousand milligrams. Most people are not taking a thousand milligrams daily. They're taking a thousand divided by the number of servings that are in the bottle. So um, the product I take, I happen to take the thousand milligram bottle. That's the strength I buy every month. Mm -hmm. And it's 33 milligrams per day. Mm -hmm. So when I first started, I was taking eight milligrams and then I upped it to 16 and then I upped it to 32 based on the results that I was getting. So mm -hmm. it took me um, two tries to get rid of the sciatica and then I increased my dose. I always tell people when you feel good and you think, oh, everything's fine, up your dose one more time because you might even feel better. Mm -hmm. And that what happened with me. I didn't realize I was having so much lower back pain. And I went to the thousand for just a couple months to see how am I going to feel? How does it go? I thought I'm not feeling any different. So I went back to my 500 milligram bottle that is 16 milligrams a day. Mm -hmm. And three days later, I was like, oh yeah, I can <laughs> feel that lower back from picking up my kids and whatnot that I didn't feel it at all leading up to the, the, the next, you know, two days after, and nothing happened. It's not like I threw my back out or right. I was just doing my normal stuff. And I was like, Oh wow, my lower back is hurting. I went back on the CBD that the, doubled the dose back to 33 milligrams and my lower back never bothers me. Mm -hmm. So I tell people to play with it. So quality product and playing with it, you might think you have a high quality product and maybe it's just not as good as you thought it was. You can always try again. Um, uh, most companies have a, a money back guarantee. So um, that to me also is a reputable company is going to offer um, a warranty on their product. If you're not happy with it after so many days that they'll refund your money. Mm -hmm. So that's a way to, to keep it. So it doesn't skyrocket your, your pocketbook. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, I'm, I'm getting your book <laughs> because I have learned more <laughs> in the last half well, an hour than I've, I've ever learned because there are, uh, it, there's people who have learned what they know by consulting the Google, you know, is what I call it. And, and so they, they talk like they're experts, but you know, then it's like, well, this one's, you know, doing it in edibles and this one's doing it in oils and this one's doing it you know, what is subcutane, what is when you're putting it under your Sublingual. tongue? Sublingual. Yeah, there you Sublingual. go. Sublingual. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so you're like, well, what, what is it? So I'm definitely going to get the book for sure. And I have a billion things that it could fix. <laughs> so oh, let me wonderful, ask. Wonderful. Let me um, ask just you this. Just really quickly. Yeah. I just, I just wanted to mention that the book just launched on Thursday and um, the, the launch price is going to be good until I think midnight on Friday night. I know it's on Friday. I think it's through midnight. Okay. And so the book is only $5 for the, the imprint if you prefer to have imprint and it's 99 cents for the Kindle version. Mm -hmm. And that way you can carry it around with you if you're going shopping and you want to have your, your, your phone right there and you can just, you know, cycle through your tips on the, um, in that shopping section, you would be able to remember all the questions you needed to ask. So that's mm -hmm. just a if people wanted to get it, now is a great time because the normal price, it's normally going to be $10 for the, um, the in-print version and $5 for the Kindle version. So okay. it's on great sale right now. So yeah. don't miss that. Super. Yeah, definitely. So tell me about um, maybe what's the most unique um, client story that you have, client testimonial? Most unique. Okay. I have one. My, um, uh, a client of mine, her name is Jolene. She, um, came to me through another client who, um, had been taking the CBD and was really happy with it. And she is in her seventies 
-hmm. and was dealing with a cholesterol that was getting a little elevated. Her doctor had been watching it and finally said, you need to start on this medication. And she started on the medication. I'm just not going to mention it for any, I, I know what it is, but I just don't feel right sharing what it was, but she was on the medication specifically for cholesterol. Yeah. And she felt terrible. She looked terrible. Uh, my client said, I, you know, when, when I saw Jolene, I said, you look horrible. What's going on? Oh, I've been on this new medication for a week and I feel terrible. And, um, and she's like, well, do you want to try CBD? I can put you in touch with somebody so that you can, you know, uh, you know, she can help you get started. And so she said, she said, okay, that sounds great. So she put the medication aside. She felt terrible. She was drained of energy. She was actually also in pain. Like it created some inflammation in her body. She felt terrible. She started taking the CBD, did not tell her doctor, which I don't condone that. Talk to your doctors, educate them. And if they give you a real firm, you know, nose up to it, go find a different doctor. Cause there's doctors who are willing to be open to talk with you and work with you on it. Mm -hmm. They can't provide um, recommendations because it's not FDA approved, but they can talk to you about um, how to test if it works for you. They can, they can help you, you know, by running blood tests and whatnot, knowing that you're trying it, they can work with you without being an advocate for it, if that makes sense. So she right. did not tell her doctor. She shows up to her doctor's office. I think it was three months after taking it. She felt great. She's like, I feel great. Obviously she didn't know what was going on with her blood. She wasn't dealing with the life threatening levels that she had to you know, worry that if she went three months without following the doctor's order, something was going to go wrong. So she had to make some personal decisions to say, I'm going to give this stuff a try instead. Mm -hmm. And she goes back to her doctor. She has the blood draw. She's there with the doctor. And the doctor says, Oh, Jolene, this is fantastic. Your blood looks great. Keep doing what you're doing. And she said, great, thanks. I will. <laughs> <laughs> so she didn't even she tell him not, that? <laughs> no, I have to circle back with her because I'm hearing that she may have, she's actually a testimonial. She's, she's number 41, I think in the book. Mm -hmm. Um, so she, I think has since said something to the doctor, but I know she was very hesitant to do it, right. especially she's in her seventies. That generation is very uninterested in, you know, cannabis type products and has mm -hmm. more of that mental, you know, you know, it just doesn't feel right at first. It just, there's so much negative stigma around it yeah. that she just didn't feel right telling her doctor. I think she's told her doctor now, but I'd have to double check that, but I thought it was pretty funny. And I, I tell people, tell your doctor and, you know, find doctors these days, you've got so much choice in terms mm -hmm. of doctors that you can find good doctors who are open mm -hmm. to other alternatives. And so, mm -hmm. um, I've interviewed my doctors heavily. I was with my doctor for 20 years and I was so pleased when he was willing to draw blood and do some stuff to help me make sure that it was working and that it, everything looked good. Mm -hmm. And he was in the know about it and he didn't tell me, no, don't do it. He's like, sure. Yeah, we'll, we'll draw your blood in 30 days again and see. And if not, then, I, then we'll, we'll put you on the medication. So he right. finding the doctors who are willing to work with you. They don't have to be like, um, yeah, that's what you should do. Best thing ever. But if they're willing to say like, well, if you want to try it, that's mm -hmm. fine. Now you may, ha you might be in a medical place where if you go off of your medication, the risks are high of dying. Well, right. obviously they're not going to necessarily tell you, yeah, try the CBD for a month and we'll see how your heart feels. Right. You have to basically be very willing to look inside and pay attention to your body. Talk with your doctor as to what's reasonable, whether or not you can lower and scale your dosage back on your medication and put this in and then have the test done. Mm -hmm. You have to have doctors and pharmacists that are willing to talk with you about it. Yeah. That's great. What about um, the medium? So like is, you know, if people take gummies or they take oil, is, is one medium better than another or is one better for a certain symptom than another or, or how do you know that? Okay. So the way the what I have learned through the certifications and also um, my clients, the sublingual drops are by far the best way to take it because under your tongue, you have very thin mucous membranes and it's able to penetrate into your bloodstream and you get, it avoids your digestive system. Mm. So anything that you take and you swallow, your digestive system is going to break down in the stomach and the liver. So mm. it doesn't mean you can't get the benefits. It just means you might have to take more of it to get there. 
Mm -hmm. So um, I prefer the sublingual drops. The other thing I really love about the sublingual drops when people are getting started is you can, you can play with the dose. You've got a dropper. You can take a half a dose, a quarter of dose, a double mm -hmm. dose. You have a lot of ability to play with it. When you're given a pill, you know, like a capsule or you're given a gummy, you're starting to like bite the gummy's ear off. Like how much did I really get? <laughs> um, it's a little harder to play with it. So I always recommend trying the sublingual drops first. And then, like I said, some, like my husband, he doesn't like the taste of it and he just prefers to pop it with his other, like with it. So it's in a, the bottles with his other supplements. He prefers to just take his orally, but we played with the dosing on the sublingual to make sure he was fine with what the dose was. And then the, 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 the capsules that we have are a higher dose than what he was taking. Got it. So he didn't have to take two to meet that dose. So he could take mm -hmm. that and, and he's, he's fine. So he's taking you usually when you take, put something through your digestive system, equivalency, you're going to have to take a little bit more than you would if you would put it sublingual. And then the topicals um, are wonderful. You're, it is going to muscle relieve. It's going to definitely help you. I view that as more of a, um, like a, a, an acute problem that comes up. Like after I was in a car accident, I would, you know, put the CBD on my neck, my mm -hmm. sleep on my neck funny. I apply it to my neck as like a booster, mm -hmm. but you're not going to see that much penetrate into the, into your bloodstream because actually the CBD molecules are bigger than the pores on your skin. So some still gets in, but not very much. Now it's going to ease the, 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 the condition at the acute spot that you're dealing with, but it's not going to help your Pac-Mans on your receptors. Right. If you have if something's causing your chronic headaches, applying it topic topically isn't going to fix the inside problem. It's just going to maybe provide some, um, uh, some relief for the tension that's building up that gave you the headache that day. Right. Right. So, and then the other ways that you can take, I don't have any experience or any clients. I was, I was just going to share suppositories and patches are two other popular. Well, suppositories are not as popular. Patches are becoming more and more popular. That yeah, you apply who, a, a patch who wants to take a suppository? <laughs> exactly. But the beauty of a suppository is if you, um, can't take it orally for whatever reason and you need something down in that the lower region of your body you can use vaginal or rectal suppositories and get relief so and and those the membranes there are very thin and you're going to have a very good absorption right there right. so if whatever reason you, you can't take it orally it interacts with who knows whatever the reasons could be i personally don't have any clients using uh, suppositories um, so I, I'm not personally familiar with the, you know, the client testimonial side of that yet. Mm -hmm. Um, but over time, I'm sure it will turn into that just because yeah. everybody needs things for different reasons. Right. Right. How did you, uh, how did you select who you were going to use for your clients? You know, what provider? Um, I'm using true hemp. I picked them. It was actually through a, a friend recommendation and I had done a lot of research on the, um, on the, what's the word I'm looking for? Like I already knew what that shopping list was because I had been researching it for six months before I decided to start taking it for myself. Mm -hmm. And it passed all that test. Like it, it checked all the boxes, the, the product that my friend was using. So that's why I started using it uh, initially and as it's as kind of time has gone on, I'm still, I'm very happy with our product. I did not realize that until I really started um, researching other brands, like I was happy with what I was using. I was happy to re you know, refer other people to it. Mm -hmm. um, but I've since done, a, I've done a lot of product comparison. A lot of people come to me, I've been using this product and I like it. And how does yours compare? And I'm like, oh, wow, they're charging you a lot of money for stocks and, and leaves. You don't have any, it's not full spectrum or Mm. Your bottle is labeled 1000 milligrams, but it's a two ounce bottle. Mm -hmm. And mine is a half ounce. I'm sorry. It was a four ounce bottle and mine are one ounce bottles. Right. And it's equivalent to my 250. And so price wise, I've been very pleased with the price point that my brand offers for the quality. So my friend gave me her thousand milligram pictures of her thousand milligram bottle. Mm -hmm. It, it was stocks and leaves it was equivalent to our 250 she was being charged 129 dollars for her bottle that the equivalent amount of cbd that you would take to my 250 we charge 40 dollars for that bottle mm 
Mm-hmm. So I have continually been, I guess you could say I lucked out at first. I, everything checked the boxes. This is great. And over time, as I'm comparing other products that people bring to me with the product I've been using, I'm like, wow, my product stacks up and wow, it's cheaper than a lot of the other brands out there. So yeah. I love, I love a good deal. I don't want to go and I don't want to see people spend a ton of money on product, like, especially if it's not high quality. So Um, that was one thing. And the other area too, is, um, the sublingual drops that my company, um, that true hemp makes is, um, they actually pack it in hemp oil and hemp oil on its own has a lot of its own great benefits. It has, um, lots of omega threes. It has, um, it has, um, the immunity boosting properties as well. It has a lot of, um, really good, um, the good fats are in there and another bad fats. Mm -hmm. A lot of companies pack their product in coconut oil which coconut oil is not always now. I know people who are on keto diets, they love coconut oil because it's high in fat. It's part Mm -hmm. of their diet, but a lot of people don't really want the high polysaturated fats on a daily basis. You're only taking a small amount, but in a month's time, you've taken an ounce or two ounces of that oil and it's it's in there. So very few companies are um, packing it in hemp. And it's kind of interesting because hemp isn't, I thought, oh, it must be because it's more expensive. Mm-hmm. And I'm, I have been told that it's, that it's not that much more expensive than coconut oil. So, mm-hmm. um, so yeah, over time, I feel like my product has held the, the test of time of me really starting to look at other people's products because people keep bringing them to me. And I'm like, well, this is what, here's my shopping list. And this is, this is what, how it performed. Yeah. Um, and, and I always say, and what's not on my shopping list is price. Cause that's a personal thing. And I would never tell somebody not to buy a product that they feel is really met all the products just because of price. Mm-hmm. But a lot of times people are like, what? You can save me money. Okay. Yeah. 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 I'm all for it. So they're yeah. happy to happy to know. Yeah. So, but I would say the number one thing I find is, is the bottle's not full spectrum. Um, and it usually, a lot of times it's pretty, in, if you read the label, it's, it's on there what, what's in it, or it just doesn't say. So until you pull up lab results, you wouldn't know. Mm-hmm. And the, the, the fact that it's packed in hemp oil and not um, coconut oil are probably the two number one things that I notice a lot of companies don't do, or they package it in a bigger bottle. Oh yeah, it's a thousand milligram bottle. And people think, oh, this is a thousand. It's, I'm getting better value because there's a thousand in this bottle. The smaller bottle is only 250. Mm -hmm. but they think the bigger bottle, that's a human thing. Bigger is better. Mm -hmm. And it's not necessarily have to really understand how concentrated it is, how much you have to take to get to the dose that you want, the daily amount. Right. Right. So those are probably the two things that I would say, um, I'm very confident that my product does that most companies don't. Mm -hmm. How does somebody work with you? What's the experience of, of working with you? How, how do you work with, with your clients, I guess? Um, I, what I basically do is I provide, um, free consultations and you buy the product through me. I, I don't do too much consult on other products because of the liability and there's hundreds of products out there. So it's not like there's only two or three competitors. Mm -hmm. There's hundreds and hundreds of different brands out there. So it takes a lot of research, Mm -hmm. um, on my end to, you know, if you want to call it to help somebody shop kind of thing, if they bring a product to me that they're mm-hmm. already using. I'll help them do comparisons so that they can understand. And I have a website that people purchase their product through and I have Facebook groups that people can join to get continued support. And I'm, I'm pretty much, I'm, I make myself available through Facebook messaging. And if you're a client of mine through text, if you're mm-hmm. having, oh, I'm sick now, um, you know, I got a cold, what can I do with my CBD to increase, to get through it faster? And mm-hmm. I'll provide some, some tips and tricks that way. So mm-hmm. I essentially, um, I earn the money. I'm, I'm, I'm compensated through compensate for, through, through commissions on the sale of, of the product that I, that I sell. Mm-hmm. Okay. So. That's great. Well, so how outside of the book, which I'm going to buy today, <laughs> how Thank else, uh, how else can people reach you? Um, also on the back of the book, it has this information as well, where it has, you know, ways to contact the, the author. Mm-hmm. Um, my personal website is lizzierene.com. And on there, you can find all of my contact information. If you're interested in purchasing product, love at first drop. So it's uh, love, uh, the word at, not the, not the character that we're all used to seeing at the, at the end of our email addresses. So love at first drop.com. Okay. Is um, my um, e commerce store. Okay. And that also has contact information as well. 
Okay. I'm pretty available, um, easy to get a hold of. Hello at LizRenee.com is an email. You can send something directly to me. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really, I'm, I am, my why is the fulfillment I get is so fulfilling to the, the story like Jolene's where she would have been on this terrible medication that who knows how long she would have had to be on this thing. And she's able to, to live her perfect normal life. She has no impacts to her life with taking the CBD. She is, she loves it. She loves it. She like me, won't go a day without it. And she's so appreciative to not feel so cruddy from taking something that was through the normal prescription avenue that, that she was prescribed. Yes. So when I hear those stories, it just, it warms my heart. I love hearing the client testimonials. So I'm always like, Hey, t- I want to know how you're feeling. What's going on? So I love it when they tell me, Oh my gosh, I tried this and, and I feel great. And yeah. thank you so much. It's, it's why I do what I do and, and I love it. So I'm happy to help and happy to consult people. It's, it's fun. And I love getting to know people. You really get to know, you get very intimate with people very quickly talking about CBD. Yeah. <laughs> So your website, I want to make sure that everybody's got that right, is love, you spell out the word love, L-O-V-E, at, A-T, first, and it's number one, right? Number one, Mm -hmm. com, right? Love at first drop. Okay. Yep. And I do, I always tell people before you go, that's my shopping site. Before you go shopping, let's talk. Let's, I always say the 500 milligram bottle is the best starter, but I want to help every single client who buys off my website. I want to at least have a 15 to 20 minute consultation with them so that they can have a protocol. If they want me to help them make sure they get that protocol done. Great. But I want them to have success with the product and make sure I help them get comfortable with the dosing up and talk them out of I tell you, when I had my sciatica, I, I had to, I had to get over the negative stigma too. I'm a part of that camp. I was raised in the '80s. Mar- marijuana is the is the gateway drug, so I had to personally get over that too. So mm-hmm. you are not alone out there. It, I, I went through it. So when I f- bought my first bottle, I bought the 500, and I took the 250 equivalent. So I took half of a half of a dropper that would be equivalent to the 250 milligram. It's eight milligrams. Mm-hmm. And I took it for three or four days. I don't remember exactly how many at this point. And I was like, up, oh, didn't work. And I put it aside. And two days later, I'm like, man, that sciatica is really killing me. And I had to talk myself into taking the full dose. Like mm-hmm. I look back and I laugh. And that's why it took eight days instead of six for me to feel better. <laughs> because I had two days of like staring that bottle down on the counter. Like, oh, I can't take, oh, I don't want to get high. I'm a responsible mom. I'm a, you know, talking myself out of all of these things. And Then I, so I want to help my clients to overcome that negative chatter. That is the negative stigma around CBD. And Mm -hmm. it's a cannabis, it is a cannabis product. It's the same genus and species as marijuana. It's something that's going to bother a lot of people. And so I always say, as soon as you place your order, send me a message. Like, let's talk, let me help you get started. So when it comes, you have a plan and then I can help you get success with the product. Cause I don't want people to be like, Oh, it didn't work and just give up. I want to make sure they up the dose enough to get what they need. Perfect. So yeah. Yeah. Great. Well, give us your email one more time. My, my email is hello at lizzyrenee.com. Okay. And it's R-E-N-E-E.com. Okay. And anyone who wants to look for the book, if you go into Amazon and you type 52 tips CBD, you'll see the book come up. Um, it's, it'll come up right then and there and it's on sale again till Friday night. So you can get the, the in print version for $5 and you can get the Kindle version for 99 cents. Patty, if you pick up the hard copy version that the imprint, bring it to uh, the events in San Diego and I'll sign up for you. All right. I can say, I know the author. <laughs> yes. Yes, you do. This has been really great. I'm, I'm not kidding. I have learned so much more uh, than I ever knew before. And, and I have used it topically before. My husband has used it for sleep and anxiety, but neither one of us know what the heck we're doing. So now I'm, I feel so much more informed and, and I'm going to be yeah. even more informed after I get the book. So Liz, I just can't thank you enough for, for being our guest here um, and sharing all that you that you know here with our- Oh, our- I, had a, I had a fun. Yes. 
Now, I want to say to everybody else, just be sure to watch for all of our other online forums. They are designed for you, the busy professional leader, so that you can listen to them live, you can listen to the replays. In any event, you're going to get the information that you need. So thank you for joining us. Thank you again, Lizzie. And I encourage everybody yes. to visit connectedwomenofinfluence.com and make a connection with us. Yes. Take care and yes. see you again soon. Thank you. Have a good one, Patty. You too.